Hi everyone, it's the end of June and I am taking Dawn Redwood cuttings. Um, you can take the cuttings as hardwood in about the start of March when the buds start to break, or I find taking them now at the start of summer is quite, quite good as well. They, uh, they do take, as long as you remove most of the foliage, um, which I'm going to go through. Um, this is originally a Dawn Redwood cutting. It is, I've already taken the trunk off of it, um, but it's, uh, as you can see it's quite big, you can't, you can't even see the top of it. Originally this was about, it was about 10 inches long, two years, about three months ago. I, t I took this as a hardwood cutting in, at the start of March, um, so you can see they really grow. And it hasn't always been in this 35 litre pot either, it was, it was in the 10 litre pot until the start of this spring. Um, the bigger the pots, the more root space and the more vigorous the growth is. Um, it's definitely worth remembering. You can't just put a torrent redwood cut in in a small pot forever. It's never going to grow big like any other tree. Um, so we're, let's get started, shall we? I've got rooting powder here. I might do a line where I use the rooting powder. I've never used rooting powder before and I've been absolutely fine, but um, surely no harm will come of us using it. Um, so let's get started. So the bits we want to take. We take a branch rather than a vertical cut in first, and then I'll go through the taking the trunk. So here, what we want is this, we want this bit here. These bits will die back. They'll turn the whole of the foliage will turn a dawn, hence the name dawn redwood. They'll turn like a golden colour in autumn, and then it'll just fall off. These aren't good for, for cuttings. You can tell easily um, the difference because they're quite flat. The branches are quite flat. Um, so I'll be able to take probably three cuttings out of that. Um, so I'm going to chop. So we want them, yeah, about six to ten centimeters long. So I'm going to cut here. And when I do cut, I'm cutting about a centimeter to two centimeters just above where the fo where we keep in the foliage. So there. And again here. Let's go on the floor. I'll grab that later. So, this is the end as well. <clears throat> it's worth noting, the end will have the light green colour, which is the newest growth. Um, the newest growth will die back, so we don't want to keep any of that, really. You'll see smaller light green coloured leaves, but then you'll see you'll also see darker coloured leaves, um, that are a bit larger in size. They're the ones we really want to keep. So, with this, I'm actually just going to take all of that off because it's just all new growth, it's just going to die. And then I'll get rid of the rest. So this is a bit small, this is probably about as small as I would cut. And then literally, <coughs> in it goes, that is it. <coughs> so let's find out what else we've got here. So here we go, it's another example. So that's, yeah, that's about right size. Get rid of that. We've got less new growth on this one, so less messing around. Pinch, pinch, pinch. So we want to go back to about a pair of leaves or two pairs. So it's only a little bit like that. And then straight in. When you're doing cuttings in a big tray like this, it's worth noting the foliage should be facing the same direction. I probably haven't done it in all of them, but every little helps. Because if you're facing this tray that's south to the sun, you wouldn't want the cutting facing the other direction where the sun's hitting uh, the underneath of the uh, leaves. Obviously when you take from the main trunk, this isn't an issue. But when you take from a branch that could potentially turn into a leader if you trunk drop to it, um, this does become an issue. So again, that's how easy it is. Done. Right, let's take from the main trunk. So, when I take from the main trunk as well, I won't cut all the way back. I'll still save um, a pair of branches, so it will become more vigorous there, it'll probably try and develop two leaders from that trunk. Um, the Dawn Redwoods are so easy to look after that you can, you can pretty much chop it right back and it'll still survive, um, as long as it's got some form of foliage on it. <coughs> right, so, all these bits I could take as cuttings. Um, this bit's a bit flimsy, I don't think that would, that, that's not going to make it. You can tell that the sturdier ones, and you can see the thickness. So this is ideal, this one here. So when I'm taking this cutting, I'm not going to cut all the way down to the, uh, the trunk. I'll be cutting.
cut it, and so there's two pairs left. Because remember, we're going to, going to use this whole trunk as well um, for a cutting. So I'm going to, going to take this off first. So there's another one. And these will probably I'll probably get two out of these, maybe three. So do that. Do that. And then I don't mind messing with the top. You see how flimsy the top is. That will just wither if you take that as a cutting. So we'll just get rid of that. We're not, there's no point in messing around with that. And again, this is a lot of the top. I'm just going to cut that back a bit. That looks I've taken too much. It's gone. Okay, that will do. Right, so we'll move on to that in a sec. So this again is what I've just done. Um, when it wasn't, so this is exactly the same as the one that wasn't a, a leader. Um, so here I could take, so one inch, two inches away from the top foliage like that. And then remove and then just pinch most of that growth. So we're left with either a pair or, or, um, or two pairs of uh, foliage between each. You can, I mean, I can have it like this. It just means that it's only going to grow in one one direction there. Um, if I save both of them, I'll have new growth coming from each bit, and it'll probably end up being a twin trunk actually. Whichever you want, whatever you want to do, you know. So this looks like the top. We don't want that. We've just been through this. So this is the main trunk. Now these ones, the main taken from the main leader, I found I've been less successful. It seems like when the, when the cuttings are this thick. They don't seem to take as well, in my experience anyway. So there's a cut in there. And we've got another one there. But we're going to test it out anyway. Cut it more. And this one's a bit awkward because I've got all the foliage down the bottom there. So it looks like I'm going to make a long cut in. Take these off. You know what? Because I took that foliage off there, let's take that off. And we don't really need that long, so I'm just going to put it back there. And then again, when it goes. So this one, so we've really got the length, take the back off. And then this bit, pinch, pinch. No foliage where it's going in the ground, so you want it in the soil level about there. In it goes, done. Um, if you want to propagate dawn redwoods by a seed, it's exactly the same as any tree, any tree seed really that um, needs a winter dormancy. That means cold stratifying first. So if you look on my video covering how to grow a tree from seed, this will cover, it'll be exactly the same thing. Um, but with the Dawn Redwoods, I find you need to have them uh, more on the surface. You, you need to put less soil on top so the sunlight can, they can feel the heat of the sunlight a bit more than other trees. And then it must always stay wet. Even, the top, even if the topsoil dries out, you could potentially lose your seeds. And it's the same with this. So when it comes to watering, what I'm going to do, first off, because they're going to require so much water every day, you can't let them dry out. And by doing this, it stops weeds and moss and all that growing. It's just a, a nightmare without, say, any bark or perlite on top. Once the perlite's on top, you need to water it straight away because the stuff is just going to fly everywhere otherwise. Then, once we're done, we need to put this somewhere warm, but not really in direct sunlight. So if you've got those polytunnels that blocks on the sunlight, that's ideal. Um, or if you just have them somewhere um, where it just gets a bit more in sunlight or the, uh, the evening. So, it's going to be warm anyway, it's true. I say that, it's 50 degrees today, it's windy and it's probably about to rain. But uh, <coughs> these will be fine. Um, yeah, so that is about it. I think I've covered everything. It is that simple. And as I said, come winter or next next spring, I'll split all these up. Put them in nine centimetre pots. If you want them to really grow out, put them in a ten litre pot straight away, and they will probably be they'll probably be about three foot high easily. They grow that quickly. Apologies, my uh, video cut out at ten minutes. So. While we're here, I focus in a bit more so you can get a close up of what I do. 
hopefully the wind's going to calm down a bit so you can hear me properly. Okay, so this was part of the leader. Get rid of this. And then this is what I meant about the new growth. See, it's a lighter green colour and it's smaller. You don't really want that, it will just die back as soon as you put the cutting in. So we'll just pinch back until we've got about a pair of a pair of leaves there. That's fine, just like that. We can get rid of this all together, or we can do the same. We'll probably end up a twin trunk. And a new growth. The new growth will develop. Anywhere where there's a leaf basically. So I'll get rid of these bits as well. And where the new growth will develop is here, here, anywhere here. So you see where the darker leaves are. That's where they're likely to develop, where they have buds pop up. And um, it'll do all this. And, and the, the cutting won't even root for maybe another two months. Uh, it'll grow just fine as long as you keep the, uh, the cuttings in wet soil. Because Dawn Redwoods absolutely love wet feet. Um, they normally grow next to quite wet areas. So, yeah, that's it. Let's go through another one quickly to make sure you've got it. So this is a bit more flimsy. I'm probably not going to use any of this top bit here. And I'm going to cut it, as I've said before, about a centimetre, two centimetres above. This is the foliage we're keeping. So we're going to cut there. And again, we'll remove all this. Gone. And then we'll just pinch off most of the growth. So we're left with that. Hopefully you can all see that. And then the soil level will go up to about there. And then it goes. Uh, I'm on a new tray. I'm on a new tray here now. I'll be here for a while. I've got quite a few dawn redwoods to take. Um, I did do this line with rooting powder. And that's, uh, I'll find out later on whether it helps at all. But it's hard to tell because uh, there's, there's about 70 or 80%, as I said, um, chance that they'll take. So a very high chance indeed. Um, so I don't really need to use rooting powder. So yeah, that's about it really. Hopefully that, um, that covers everything you need to know about the cuttings for Dawn Redwoods. Um, as I said before, the seeds. Just watch the uh, how to grow a how to grow a tree from seed uh, video. And um, just make sure you don't put too much soil on the top of the seeds when you do it. Uh, and that's it really. Let me know if you think because this is completely uncut set for uh, part one part two because of my video lasting 10 minutes but uh, let me know if this is this is good enough otherwise i'll keep spending time putting content together and taking longer to make videos otherwise i might just start doing them like this because um, it's so much easier for me i'll just record waffle one and uh, that's it really isn't it so cheers everyone i'll see you later